Our prayers today are woven around some well-known words from Psalm 121. I'll introduce each section with some words from the psalm and suggest some topics you may wish to pray into. And then I will leave a few moments for you to pray into these themes or whatever is on your heart right now. And I'll draw each section to a close by using the words, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. So let us pray. The psalmist begins, I lift my eyes to the hills. Where does our help come from? When I think of hills, I think of walking in the Yorkshire Dales. A number of us from Christchurch used to spend Easter there for many years in a cottage near Grassington. I wonder, like me, whether you also feel close to God when you spend time walking in the hills, enjoying God's creation in all its beauty and its majesty. But for the psalmist, the hills were often seen as places of danger. Over the last few months, so much has turned on its head. Many are asking in all this, where does our help come from? And as we pray, maybe lift before God someone on your heart who you would love to know the unchanging, eternal love of God, his healing and his peace in whatever situation they're facing today. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And the psalmist continues, he will not let your foot slip. He who watches over you will not slumber nor sleep. Over the last few months, many of us have had our plans put on hold. Many of us are facing life-changing decisions where the road ahead is as yet unclear. We think especially of students, people losing their jobs or their livelihoods. Those who are fearful of what the future might hold for themselves or for those they love. In the quietness, we hold them in prayer before our loving Heavenly Father. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. The psalmist continues, the Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun will not harm you by day, nor the moon by night. So we pray for all those in positions of power and authority in our world, who live their lives in the heat of the midday sun. Maybe those whose every word and action is reported and commented on in the media. Maybe pray for leaders of those nations in the world where coronavirus continues to grow and where local communities are struggling to cope. Or maybe pray for those in our own communities who are exhausted after many months of caring for others or working relentlessly long hours. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And the psalm finishes with a final verse of reassurance. The Lord will keep you from all harm. He will watch over your life. The Lord will watch over your coming and your going, both now and forevermore. And to finish, we pray for our churches. For all of us who worshipped, scattered as we are, in Chilwell or from wherever you are joining us today, and we hope for a time when we are able to gather again in person to worship in church. We pray, Lord, that you will align our mission with yours and help us to be reflectors of your light and your love in the communities we serve, now and forever. Merciful Father, we ask you to accept our prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.